Hello there, welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, we'll tell you all about the Pumi, a nimble-footed herder of Hungarian origin, well known for its intellect, agility, and bravery. We've put together all this information to help you make an informed decision before adopting this breed. Before we continue though, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. Dog Breed History Authorities recognize three indigenous sheepdogs in Hungary, the Puli, Moody, and Pumi. The Puli is the oldest of all three, dating back to AD 800. This ancestor Hungarian herding dog most likely moved to the Carpathian Basin with the Magyars from the Oral Altai area between China and the Caspian Sea. The Pumi was created about three to four hundred years ago when the Puli was crossed with French and German herding dogs and terriers. The Moody is the thought to have originated organically from crossbreeds of the Puli, Pumi, and German Spitz breeds. The Pumi is an incredible high-energy herding breed that originated in Hungary in the 17th or 18th century. Thanks to its breeding, the Pumi possesses some terrier-like characteristics such as alert disposition, fast mobility, and lean, muscular body type. This breed is supposed to have originated from the cattle trade between Hungary, Germany, and France. The Pumi is also known as the Hungarian herding terrier. It was also dubbed the clown for its fun nature and expressive looks. The Pumi may also be tracked back to Chinese and Tibetan herding and guard breeds. This includes the Tsang Apso, a common breed in the area that Europeans mistook for the Tibetan terrier. The Pumi International Breed Standard was adopted in 1935. Pumi have been the most famous Hungarian herding dogs in Finland since their introduction in 1972. Their presence Presently, around 2,000 registered Pumi dogs in Hungary, although considerable populations may also be found in Finland and Sweden. In the United Kingdom, the United States, and Germany, the Pumi is bred in lower numbers. The Pumi was first thought to be a regional variety of the Pumi. Still, by the early 1900s, the two dogs had been recognized as independent breeds. It was recognized as a breed in the United States in 2011 and in the UK in 2015. Pumi dogs were initially introduced to Finland in the early 1970s. The species is now the most popular of all herding dogs in Finland. In 2016, the AKC officially recognized the Pumi. Appearance the Pumi is a small, swift, and courageous sheep herder capable of moving flocks on the narrow roads linking western Hungary's pastures. In corkscrews or curls, the Pumi's hair is always wavy and curly. Coat colors include black, gray, and reddish brown. However, they are usually one hue. White is present, although it's not preferred by breeders. However, under the curls is a lean, deep-chested herder with an apparently limitless capacity for labor and enjoyment. Enjoyment. From its looks, it may be difficult to imagine that this lovable charmer was born to accomplish such a challenging job. The dogs should be between 22 and 29 pounds, making them perfect for families searching for smaller companions. The breed has expressive ears, a round tail, and a distinctly comical appearance. The black eyes are somewhat slanted and have close-fitting lids. Temperament the Pumi is a strong, robust sheepdog and capable guard and hunting dog. Its terrier ancestry has given it a keen interest in the dens of wild creatures like foxes and hares. The breed is well recognized for its athleticism and genuine commitment to those it cares about. It is known to be a successful ratter and a great family companion. It is attentive, vigilant, and vigorous at the same time. Because of their friendly attitudes, these dogs are pretty protective of their families. Still, they are much more likely to inform their owners of dubious and individuals then to become violent. Suppose this dog perceives his owners to be weaker than himself. In that case, he will become stubborn, feeling he must be the one making choices in the relationship. The Pumi is a great guardian for isolated households or enterprises ready to leap at the slightest disturbance. They are smart enough to understand what you mean immediately. It is a clever breed that is easy to teach. It is loving and pleasant with its owner or familiar people. On the other hand, it is shy and reserved around strangers. Socialize this dog thoroughly. Socialization 
The Pumi may be a devoted friend to all family members if given enough exercise and care. They will be happy sharing their home with children and other animals as long as training and socializing begin early. A well-reared and socialized Pumi will get along with children as long as the dog regards people as lower in the pecking order than himself. While they usually get along well with youngsters, owners are advised to be cautious when introducing the dog to a new pet. The Pumi is an excellent watchdog who utilizes its voice lavishly and persistently. If you live in an area where you're surrounded by neighbors, it is prudent to educate the dog that it must be silent after a couple of barks. Suppose the dog is barking at you to tell you what he wants. In that case, you must silence the dog and examine your human canine communication abilities. Note that a dog that barks at you in this manner is demonstrating dominance traits and that shouldn't be the case. The breed must be socialized as pups because the Pumi is a thinking dog that must observe each new circumstance. Grooming the double coat of the Pumi is composed of a soft undercoat and a coarser, harsher outer coat. It has an excellent coat that is considered pretty easy to care for. The Pumi's coat is 50% soft hair and 50% tougher hair, all of which are the same length. The medium length braided coat does not mat readily. Combing and trimming every three to six weeks can help keep mats and tangles at bay. Its coat needs to be wetted after searching to reform its curls. Using a blow dryer on the Pumi's coat is not suggested since it would destroy the unique curls. However, this dog's coat is generally low shedding. Owners may notice more stray hair than normal during this procedure. The ears of the Pumi should be examined regularly to minimize wax and debris accumulation, which may lead to illness. In addition, remove any extra hair from the inside of the ears and explore the body for traces of sores or infection. Exercise the Pumi is naturally athletic and intelligent. The breed needs frequent exercise for its overall physical and mental well-being. They are outdoor dogs and would thrive on farms where they'll have plenty of tasks, such as protecting the entrance and keeping the cattle together. The Pumi will adore catching, chasing, and excelling in agility skills training. Tennis balls and frisbees are often their favorite toys, and a Pumi is likely to demand an excellent game of fetch with them. In urban in areas, owners must provide them with other activities such as daily walks or jogs. A Pumi might be the perfect companion for someone physically fit, energetic, and willing to take the animal on walks and give everyday fun in the backyard or inside when the weather is poor. So at least one hour a day is perfect for daily exercises. You may also supplement with play sessions, training classes, or hobbies like agility sports to keep the mind active. Aside from playing and training, your Pumi will gladly accompany you on runs, hikes, bike rides, and other outdoor activities. Because the Pumi is nimble and prone to climb, a tall fence surrounding the yard is best and training for a reliable recall is a must. The dog must be forced to heel alongside or behind the person taking the lead when out on a walk since instinct tells a dog that the leader leads the way and that leader must be the human. Because of the breed's characteristics, the Pumi is becoming more popular in agility, obedience, and other dog sports and companion activities. Training a Pumi learns rapidly and has an endless enthusiasm to work without becoming obsessed with it. If given regular exercise and mental stimulation, he's a lively dog and is an excellent house dog. Pumi dogs are simple to teach due to their intelligence and conservative attitude. They seem to have an unlimited desire to work with their masters. When pups are around eight weeks old, it's vital to introduce basic obedience instruction during training sessions. The Pumi excels at advanced training or herding or canine sports as it gets older. Digging, barking, and a desire to hurt people by biting at their heels are among the behavioral difficulties that may occur without sufficient training and exercise. Because this breed is renowned for being 
noisy, potential owners should expect barking. However, barking should not be encouraged since Pumi like utilizing their voices. Since they have a highly trainable disposition, they may be taught to limit their barking if it gets severe. Positive reinforcement systems are very successful, thus any sort of training that involves punishment should be avoided. Your Pumi will also benefit from having a variety of cognitively stimulating toys to keep destructive habits at bay when boredom hits. Diet and Nutrition the Pumi, like other breeds, thrives on high-quality dog food. It is essential to discover which foods are healthy for dogs and those which are not. Your dog's food may be commercially made or home-prepared, but in either case, ensure it's done under the supervision and consent of your veterinarian. Remember that your veterinarian is in the right position to develop a balanced diet and portion plan based on your dog's weight, age, and activity level. These dogs may grow overweight if they don't get the right quantities and activity, so keep an eye on your Pumi's calorie intake. Treats may be valuable as a training tool, but feeding too much can lead to obesity. This athletic, high-energy breed should always have access to fresh, clean water. Health Pumi is a relatively healthy breed. Nonetheless, it is susceptible to certain genetic illnesses, as are other purebreds. Reputable breeders test for health issues such as elbow and hip dysplasia, patellar luxation, degenerative myelopathy, and eye diseases. If you want to adopt a Pumi puppy, ask the breeder about the medical history of the litter. We hope you found helpful information on the Pumi dog breed in this video. What are your concerns about this breed? Let us know in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you'll be the first to know when we post a new pet video. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.